Hello everyone. In this INR number 69, I am going to tell you about a dermatological investigation method called as Woods Lamp. A very important uh, PYQ which examiner asks in our all exams. So what is Woods Lamp? It's a device you can see. This is the device which is called as Woods Lamp. What it does? It emits ultraviolet rays, right? So it will be emitting ultraviolet rays and that will be giving you uh, fluorescence of the skin disorders. So what is the range of the wavelength? So that wavelength is approximately 360 nanometer. So Woods Lamp is a device ultraviolet rays of 360 nm. And what is the uses of the Woods Lamp? So as I said, it is used for disorder of the pigmentation and to identify infection. So there are two things, disorder of pigmentation and infection. Why? Because it enhances epidermal pigmentation. Remember, epidermal pigmentation, it will enhance, but it will not enhance the dermal pigmentation. So that is the one of the very beautiful point about the Woods Lamp. It will enhance epidermal pigmentation, but it will not enhance dermal pigmentation. And that is why it can be used for differentiating between epidermal from the dermal pigmentation, right? And it will also enhance subtle hypopigmented lesion like a ash leaf macules of the tuberous sclerosis, right? So now we will see the most important thing from where examiner asked question is the infections and their associated fluorescence. Right, so fluorescence of different color will be released and this is one of the most frequently asked question in exam. So erythrasma, you will see that question in your exam. So erythrasma or corinibacterium minutesimum, which is causing this will be showing you coral pink color of the fluorescence. Pityriasis versicolor uh, caused by malassezia for fur will be showing you yellow silver color. Tinea capitis microsporum species blue green color. Vitiligo will be milky white color and pseudomonas will be green, green fluorescence, right? So these are the five things we have to remember. Erythrasma, coral pink, pityriasis for yellow silver, tinea capitis for blue green, vitiligo is milky white and pseudomonas is green immunofluorescence. So now these are the colors which we have to remember which examiner may ask, right? So you can see this is the normal and this is the coral ring, coral pink color, right? So this is erythrasma, coral pink color. Right now you can see pityriasis will be showing you a yellow silver appearance. Tinea capitis, you can see tinea capitis is showing you blue green color and vitiligo is showing you milky white color and pseudomonas will be showing you green color. So in this I will say that this is the most frequently asked question in exam. Erythrasma or corinibacterium minutesimum is causing coral pink color on woods lamp examination so keep revising this topic and this is again a very important topic for your exam my best wishes to all of you